bursting of the housing bubble has left millions of homeowners across the United States owing more than their house is worth. This recession that we're currently experiencing has been the deepest and weakest recovery since World War II. In some areas like Sacramento, California, well over half of the mortgages are underwater. Many so deeply underwater that people owe 40 to 50 percent more than the value of their home. In other words, a good percentage of Americans are in much of the same position as any bankrupt company. They can still make and pay their mortgage payments, but doing so is like taking that monthly payment and setting it on fire each and every month. These people have no hope of ever making a return on their investment in their homes. And it's not their fault either. These homeowners didn't intentionally set out to lose their jobs. They didn't sign the contract on their home to intentionally default and to go into foreclosure. Come on, are you serious? There was so much of a bigger game that was going on. These homeowners wanted the American dream, a home for their families, and now it's become American nightmare. This game affected not only the homeowners who couldn't make their payments, but it also hurt those of you that can make your payments. Your home dropped in value because of this mess also, and you did everything right. So why are you paying the price? Many homeowners made bad decisions, but banks had a lot to do with this. They handed out way too much easy money without requiring proper documentation, qualifications, and without requiring a sensible down payment. What happened to regulation? This is not what you or I signed up for when we bought our homes. It was one big train wreck that hurt a lot of people and wrecked a lot of people's lives financially. At the end of the day, we've all been affected by this recession and mortgage meltdown. And if it's not you, then it's a family member, a coworker, or a friend. Lots of people and many have lost or will lose their homes to foreclosure. When the housing bubble burst, the banking industry was terrified by the possibility that homeowners may walk away in mass, which would have stuck lenders with large losses and a huge number of marked down homes. It left banks with millions of loans that homeowners are not making payments on, and this causes major problems for banks and other financial institutions. In every city in the United States, banks have non-performing loans on their books, which could lead to their eventual shutdown by the FDIC. When the housing bubble burst, the economic crisis and housing downturn left millions of homeowners across the United States owing more than their home is worth. Some homeowners are so deeply underwater that they owe more than 40 to 50 percent than the value of their home. What I'm about to share with you right now, 95 percent of the real estate investors, or anyone else for that matter, know anything about. In every city in the United States, banks have millions of loans on their books that they're facing large losses on from homeowners that are not making their mortgage payments. This has caused major problems for banks and puts them at risk of being shut down by the FDIC. While the economic crisis and housing downturn might seem like a disaster for most, those in the know, like the new rich real estate investors, are taking advantage of the bank's misfortunes by making millions off the opportunity that's presenting itself in the current housing market. The new rich acquire 500 to 1,000 loans in bulk from banks at significantly deep discounts, then liquidates these assets with velocity to compound capital returns, which allows them to take advantage of and capitalize on the current financial opportunity in the real estate market. The new rich buys loans at one price and then liquidates them at a higher price. They do this efficiently and effectively by using state-of-the-art, customized technology, proprietary analytics, management systems, and an experienced real estate team. The new rich are able to attract large sums of capital to buy banks' loans from wealthy investors, lawyers, doctors, and high net worth individuals because of their technology, their expertise, and their ability to do complex analytics, which has made them very successful very quickly. The new rich are leaner, quicker, and faster, and that's why they stay ahead of their competition. 
It's a newer, faster, wealth-building real estate model that the new rich use to create a luxurious and fabulous lifestyle for these millionaires that are flush with cash to buy the bank's toxic loans. Jets, fabulous houses, boats, custom-made Italian suits, and expensive cars are what these high-flying real estate investors aim to achieve. Nothing but the best for the new rich. These real estate investors are this recession's newest generations of entrepreneurs chasing the American dream of financial freedom with real estate, not by flipping houses, but by buying the bank's paper and helping homeowners facing foreclosure keep and stay in their homes instead of losing them to the banks. The new rich are strategic thinking real estate investors that make money buying, flipping, and rehabbing the bank's bad loan. The new rich don't own real estate, maintain it, manage it, pay real estate commissions, or have liability, nor do they want to. Their only concern is to control the paper on the real estate and make money from it. No tenants, toilets, and trash for the new rich. The world of real estate investing has changed dramatically from a few years ago. The old rules of real estate no longer exist and apply in today's distressed real estate housing market. It's out with the old and in with the new. Now it's time for you to learn the new rules of real estate investing from the nouveau riche, the new rich. I'd like to introduce to you T8 Capital. The founder and president of T8 Capital is Holly Gentry. She founded T8 out of her New York City apartment in 2003. She transitioned from acquiring, managing, and disposing 18 individual loans in 2003 for $375,000 to become the second largest buyer of bank distress mortgages over the past three years. Over the last few years, she's invested $25 million into distressed mortgages. Last year alone, she invested $15 million in purchasing 18,000 loans. She's managed and acquired over 40,000 loans with an unpaid principal balance of $3 billion. Holly's father is old money. He sent Holly to a real estate education seminar that I was teaching in Las Vegas to see if my note buying training curriculum would be good fit for her and if so, he would pay her tuition of $25,000 to learn how to invest in bank notes. It was a good investment on his part. I personally trained her one-on-one -on -one for three days at her fabulous estate in the Hamptons in New York. Holly's father fronted her $100,000 to start her company to be paid back with interest, of course, Another great investment on his part. Within 18 months, Holly increased her net worth $1.5 million. She made $400,000 on one note deal transaction on a property that had been vacant for 12 years that the bank hadn't foreclosed on. And they say the rest is history. Now me, I'm the trusted advisor to T8 Capital for their bulk note pools or one-off note purchases. I'm known around the industry as the bad boy of real estate, not because of my wild ways or anything like that. It's because of my long track record of buying bad loans before most investors even knew that this was an incredible way to make a whole lot of money and produce great returns of up to 30 to 45 percent on my investments. You see, I've been buying subprime loans from the largest institutions since 2001. I'm a real estate authority, investment expert, and master note buyer. I've taught thousands of real estate investors how to make lots of money with real estate without credit, money, or a real estate license. I have homeowners all across the United States that I've personally invested my own money in to help these homeowners that were facing foreclosure keep and stay in their homes. I buy bad loans to hold and keep for my own real estate portfolio. T8 allows me to buy directly from them with no markup when they purchase directly from the top five banks. This perk alone is worth the relationship, but the money that they pay me for my consulting allows me to afford the finer toys in life. Largest note deal that I've ever worked on was a $40 million deal from a bank in California. I buy bad loans with the sole purpose of modifying the homeowner's loan so that I can make a double digit interest rate return on my investment. Ah, the money man, Josh Rogers, Wall Street type, ladies man, fine Italian suits, fast luxury cars, smartest dude I've ever met knows his money. Josh raises investment capital from accredited investors for T8 to buy pools of bad loans from banks that are non-performing. He started his career as an investment banker for Goldman Sachs in New York City. He raised his first $30 million fund in his late 20s. He is currently managing director of Rogers Partners in New York City. He has been very successful in raising capital and producing impressive returns for our investors. Next is the T8 staff. T8 staff is responsible for servicing T8's loans, managing loans, risk management, including foreclosure resolution. 
Once the nodes come into T8, we have three workout specialists that can easily handle 150 or more loans each. This gives you an example of the type of volume we have and what we can handle. We only handle the loans that are non-performing. Once they're performing, we let our professional servicing company handle the monthly collections from this point on.